everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. After Nicole returns Jude, Sloane makes an interest and a chilling danger. Furthermore, it's over among Chad and Stephanie Chanel returns home from work and loosens up on the love seat. Chanel inquires as to why her mother is still wearing her robe when Paulina comes out of the bedroom. Paulina says she just slept too much and goes to get coffee in the kitchen. Chanel is able to recognize a problem. Paulina presents to Chanel a few espresso and figures she could utilize some prior to returning to the pastry kitchen and shopping. Paulina thinks she should get to City Hall, despite Chanel's suggestion that her mother accompany her. She requests that Chanel get her some Christmas lights while she's out and a portion of those whiskey toothpicks for Abe's loading. Chanel takes off and Paulina appears to experience difficulty gulping. She says she's excessively occupied to become ill and necessities to take care of business. When the doorbell rings at the Johnsons, Stephanie looks up remedies for hangovers. She responds to it and finds Chad remaining there. She looks at him, but she lets him in. She inquires as to whether he came to look through the spot and see who she's getting going with. He came to apologize and claims that he deserves that. He was off the mark blaming her and Alex for being together. She says he was. She says it's just a headache but he says something is wrong with her. She accepts his apology, and Chad says he thinks it's time for them to say what they both think and put an end to their relationship. Stephanie is stunned, yet Chad concedes he acted like an idiot in pursuing Everett and he can't take it back. Furthermore, he doesn't want to let her down because she's ready for a commitment that he can't give her right now. Stephanie concurs it's best they head out in a different direction. Since the kids adore her, Chad admits that this saddens him. She takes note of that as the thing is making this so hard for her. He suggests that perhaps, given enough time, he will be able to overcome his past and regain her trust. He knows that she just moved back in with her parents, but since he is back in the Demera mansion, she can keep the apartment. Stephanie feels the children ought not be evacuated once more, so he ought to keep it. He says thanks to her. He'll likewise email his renunciation, yet she figures they can in any case cooperate. He hired Everett back because he believes it will be too risky for the time being. Once more, Chad apologizes. He realizes he obliterated this relationship and let his envy transformed him into somebody he's embarrassed about. He apologizes for having lost sight of what is right and wrong. Stephanie is as well. Alex runs into Chanel in Horton Square, and they check in with each other. Alex concedes things have been muddled of late. She offers to tune in, so they snatch espresso and a table. Alex informs her that he found out that he was Victor's son, but Justin will always be his father. He asks what is the deal with her, and she says she and Johnny are back together. However, Johnny always pursues another girl, which worries her. They talk about their former teams and players, and Alex still regrets what happened to him and Ally. Janelle misses partner yet says now and again things aren't intended to be. Sloane paces in Rafe's office at the station and contemplates Leo coercing her via telephone. She is positive he took the child, so she needs to admit. She goes out to the crew room and Eric surges in. He asks what is happening. Before she can see him something, Harris reports they have a break on who could have taken the child. According to Harris, the stroller was seen being pushed away from the town square by a woman wearing a dark hoodie. Ray figures it very well might be Nicole. Yet Eric recollects when Sarah's child was seized the portrayal was something similar and inquires as to whether it very well may be a similar individual. Deej advances into the mystery room at the Demera Chateau and tracks down Nicole with the child. She says she's so heartbroken. He thought she acknowledged this child wasn't theirs. She tells him that Sloane left the baby alone in the middle of Horton Square, which Nicole swears she did. She insists that she rescued him. EJ says she ensured the child was protected. However, he wants to return home. No, he needs me. He needs us, says Nicole. She asserts that given his wealth, they could begin a brand new life with this young child. He could be our own. She hears from EJ that she is aware that this is not right and that she has experienced child loss. Nicole says this is unique, their child passed on, and this child is protected with them. 
Edgy expresses attempting to facilitate her aggravation by taking another couple's child is off base, so she wants to take him back. EJ claims that they will collaborate. Eric recalls Sloane having something to say to him when, all of a sudden, EJ and Nicole, along with Jude, enter the station. Sloane seizes Nicole's son as a demand for her own. EJ say they can explain everything and asks to talk privately after Eric and Sloane praise him. Sloane explodes. However, Rafe brings them into the cross-examination room. Sloane and Eric go to call his folks, and Harris gets a phone message from Steph. Harris gets back to Stephanie and tells her they tracked down the child. She suggests that they meet in person when he asks if she wants to talk. They consent to meet at the recreation area. In the cross-examination room, Rafe asks what occurred. Nicole concedes she took the child when she saw he was distant from everyone else. Rafe inquires as to why. Nicole says Sloane doesn't merit being a mother. E.G. instructs her to simply explain what transpired. Nicole says she saw Sloane let the child be and she realizes he's not hers. However, bringing him back home felt like the proper thing to do. In the crew room, Sloane tells Eric she needs to simply return home and Eric offers to manage things here. Rafe abruptly invites them into the interrogation room to hear Nicole's testimony. Nicole concedes she took the child. Sloane explodes and calls Nicole delusional, but Nicole insists that she is not. She says when she saw that child in isolation, she let completely go. She realizes it was off base and it will not repeat. Sloane says she needs Nicole in jail, and in the event that De Demera will not make it happen, she'll call the state principal legal officer. Eric requests that Sloane step out and talk so they don't annoy Jude further. Rafe says he's unfortunately, he needs to capture Nicole. Eric tells Sloane in the squad room that he doesn't think Nicole did this with malicious intent and asks what would have happened if someone else had taken him. You think this is my fault? She cries. Their child was safely returned, and Eric just wants to show compassion. He wants to trust Nicole will find support and recuperate, and they need to mend as well. They embrace. Sloane and Eric return to the cross-examination room and prevent Rafe from telling Nicole her options. She says she asked Nicole to look after children. Rafe comprehends what they are attempting, but Nicole requires assistance. Nicole guarantees she'll get it. Eric announces that they are finished and departs with Sloane and Jude. Rafe also storms out. Back in the crew room, Sloane requests that Eric get Jude settled as need might arise to utilize the women's room. EJ, on the other hand, goes to Rafe to make things right. After that, Sloane confronts Nicole and warns her that if she ever comes back near her child, she will cause her life to be a living hell in ways she can't even fathom. She and Chad say their goodbyes once more at Stephanie's house. Chad tells her to take care of herself and thanks her for being so good with his children. He hopes she will continue to spend time with them. She says that would be wonderful, and she wants them to know that this is not about them. She cries those children, and him implied such a huge amount to her. Although Chad calls it cliché, he will cherish the good times they shared. He leaves in tears. Stephanie breaks down by herself. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.